You probably may have heard of the Agile Manifesto. Agile is very hot nowadays in project management. But I want to point you on another manifesto. And this is the Pragmatic Manifesto. Because I believe that this manifesto is much more important for project managers than the Agile Manifesto. Let me tell you what it is. There are seven principles. The first one is you only use and you only do that what is needed for your project to make it successful. That means that you cut away all the unnecessary stuff in your project. All unnecessary people, all unnecessary procedures. The second step, the second principle is that you don't invent non-existing concepts. For example, the distinction between classical and non-classical project management does not exist. It is something human beings have invented. So we have never been classical. Project managers are in the business of change throughout the history of project management. The third principle is that we use better practices instead of best practices. The idea behind the best practice is that you have the final answer to all our problems. And this is not what we need in project management. What we do need is a search for improvement every day. That's why we talk about better practices and not about best practices. Then you need to unparadigm yourself. With that I mean that you take away all your convictions and that you will look at the world around you as if it's the first time that you see it. You don't let your mind be filtered by the convictions that you have. Because when you think there is something like non-classical project management, you think that's the solution for everything, and that is not the case. The project approach is contingent, depending upon the situation that you are facing. Then we have to accept all individuals, including ourselves, you cannot change when you have not a certain level of self-acceptance. And after you have accepted yourself, you can be free to accept others too. Projects are people. Then we need to use that what is available to us. A project manager is someone that arranges these things that are not yet organized. This is what you need to do as project manager. So when you don't have enough resources, don't complain that the senior user or the senior supplier is not supplying. No, start delivering, start inventing a method to get these resources. And finally, you need to realize that managers are on a strict time schedule and that, he, that is for your project sponsor also. It has been calculated that the average manager will be interrupted every nine minutes. So when you communicate with your sponsor or with senior management, you need to take care that you do it in nine minutes. Now here we have these seven principles. These seven form together the pragmatic manifesto for project management. And this is actually not something new, but I strongly believe that all successful project managers during the history of project management have applied these types of risk. I hope that this short presentation will give you a new insight in how to become a pragmatic project manager.